Friday by a specialist, Essa Tikkanen, no coming play. over. Sure. From the the led the Montreal Canadiens to a Stanley Cup in his rookie season in 1986. And then again in 1993, winning the Conn Smythe both years. And he did win three best trophies, but that didn't give him the license to do what he did do. Roy challenged team management, and Roy got shut out. When Patrick Roy briskly walked in front of Coach Mario Trombley on Saturday night and went over to talk to team president Ronald Corey, a decade of hockey came to an end in Montreal. On Sunday, general manager Ray Jean Houle said that he was left with no alternative but to put Patrick Waugh on the trading block, calling his behavior unacceptable and a detriment to the team. And also asked Patrick what uh, uh, he said to Mr. Corey, because what he says to Mr. Corey, he told him that it was his last game in Montreal. I asked him today if uh, he would uh, say the same thing again. And he told me that uh, he, uh, he didn't change his point, that what he said last night that uh, it was his last game in Montreal. The Canadians were badly beaten on Saturday, 11 to 1, but Roy was pulled only after allowing his ninth goal. Some say the embarrassment was too much for the Habs superstar. That was behind the bench for 11 goals. Uh, you know, like I said before, all the players this morning in the dressing room, I'm telling you, the, I didn't see too many happy faces there this morning. You know, and uh, maybe I could have... Uh, of tell him to come at the bench after the seven goals, maybe, but you know, I don't think it's it's two goals who who's gonna who's gonna change a career. A tip off to the events of the day started when Pierre Turgeon arrived by himself without his usual traveling partner Wa for a team meeting, and it appeared that everybody knew that something was in the wind as a somber group of Canadians went through their workout on Sunday afternoon. But news of Wa's parting of the way with the Canadians caught many by surprise and left many fans stunned by the news. According to Ray Jean Houle, it seems like a point of no return, but that, that's pretty sad. Uh, he, yeah, I think he'd be a difficult player to trade considering his salary. I was at the game last night. I thought the fans were terrible. And uh, it's really sad to see such a great career end like that. It's not good for Montreal fans to lose Patrick Watt. I think uh, he will go to uh, the islands of Colorado because uh, Pierre Acqua is uh, one of the best friend of Patrick was, so uh, I think he will go in uh, Colorado. So the speculation has already started as to where Wa will end up. But our quick survey of general managers throughout the league indicate that economic realities in hockey right now are such that moving a player with a salary of four million dollars may not be that easy. Patrick Wa was an icon in this city, a hero bigger than life sometimes referred to as St. Patrick for his miracles on the ice. It's hard to imagine that Patrick Waugh won't be guarding these pipes anymore for the Montreal Canadiens, but that's a reality that fans in this city are going to have to get used to. Right now, Pat Jablonski is the team's number one goaltender. A call-up from Fredericton is expected on Monday. Michael Whalen, TSN, in Montreal. We will hear from Patrick Waugh on Monday. He has called a news conference for 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time.